Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, hope you guys are moving right along with your posters, uh, your uh, process documents and discussion responses have been amazing. So I cannot wait to see you come. With, uh, I cannot wait to see what you come up with. Uh, pursuant to the both the poster and um, the other visual design work that we're doing over the course of the semester, I thought I'd make this quick video about. Uh, what we refer to as digital citizenship. So it's my expectation that for the whole of your career so far, you have been deeply considerate about uh, citing sources in MLA, APA, maybe even Chicago if you're fancy. Um, and the citation of sources uh, both ensures that the work that you draw on is fairly recognized and increases your um, credibility with your reader, right? And so we know um, how to cite, no, thank you, uh, interview or how to cite, uh, you know, books, um, what else? Uh, PowerPoints, uh, articles, etc. Um, but I think less, uh, how should I put it? citing images from the internet while they follow uh, basic citation principles takes on uh, a kind of different character. And so the basic rule of citing images from the internet in work that you do for school, right? So with the expectation that you're not going to be selling these posters or the presentations that you make at the end of the semester for profit, um, we just want to be good digital citizen, citizens, uh, attribute our sources, and do no harm, right? So what does this mean? So for example, let's pop on over to Google, um, and let's say that I, let's start from the beginning here, I wanted to do a search for um, the Xtalk oil spill. All right, so here I am. I'll pop over to images. Once I'm in images, I think like, oh great, look at all the images that I have. Um, you might want to, if you haven't before, you can adjust, sorry, click on tools, uh, and then it's going to bring down this next bar um, to limit the amount of searches. If you click on usage rights, and then labeled for non-commercial reuse, everything that you get um, in this uh, what like roll out uh, is either um, open source um, in the public domain or uh, fair use. So let's click on this image and see what we get. So in order to ensure that we are citing uh, the author of the images um, and the source of the images, go ahead and click on it. And then the basic rule is you want to click down as far as you can um, to get to the first time the image was posted online. Um, so for here, a uh, quick note here, this is a, a nice big file. So um, 1023 by 670 uh, will uh, offer like a nice high resolution image. Um, okay, so we know that uh, because this is the National Oceanic and Atmospheric uh, uh, government, public trust company, or not company, um, organization, that this uh, image is in the public domain. Um, if we click on Flickr, we're going to find out that it has some rights reserved. So go ahead and click on some rights reserved. And what it's going to tell you is that you are free to copy and redistribute, adapt and remix under specific terms, right? So you have to attribute the author, author and indicate if you've made any changes. Um, so what might that look like? Well, that is going to look like, um, so for example, go ahead and go to your image. You can download your image here in any of the sizes. It's like a Flickr um, option. If you're on a Mac, I think if you're on a PC too. Sorry, my, whoops, what am I doing here? Um, all right, so let's download my image. Let's just say I downloaded it. Uh, then what I'm going to want to do is when I cite uh, my image, I might, for one second, insert, um, let me 
me see how I do this. So following um, signing image from a database in MLA. Uh, this link is provided all over. Um, we're going to, this is from the Colgate Visual Resource Library. We're going to find the line, the best image scanned, image downloaded from tagged on this name, Flickr comments. Okay. So here I'm going to follow this um, citation. So it looks like uh, first name, last name of the author. So um, what do I get? Um, there. Helton Doug. Helton, comma, Doug. And then it looks like uh, next um, the title. It's the Rudolph O'Donovan. That's what's my title here. My title is. Um, hmm, I'm not sure. Maybe Ixtoc oil spill. Might be this whole thing. And then let's just do Ixtoc oil spill. Ixtoc oil spill. And then it looks like that thing is going to go in italics. And then it looks like I need the date. Um, 1979. And then it looks like we get an execute date. Uh, and then where I got it. So it is in the uh, NOA photo library. Go ahead and get rid of the link. And then period. And then it wants to say, okay, so. This is the publisher, right? I mean, it's also technically a database, but it's the publisher. Okay, and then now it's going to want me to say which online database or source I found it from. And I think that looks like that goes in italics. Mm, Flickr, Flickr Commons. Um, and then that's in italics, period. Okay, and then... As with a variety, okay, and then all of this information I'm gonna have to include. I'm just gonna copy that and I'll put in my own. Okay, it's gonna match. Uh, okay, obviously it's not supposed to be in italics. I'm gonna take the italics off. I'm gonna take the bold off of all of this. Um, okay, I wanna say web, and then I wanna put my own date here. So it's today, the 25th. It's the date accessed. Um, 25th of June. Uh, 2020 and then digital image and then period right and then I'm gonna highlight it you can do these all at once actually if you want to just do your notes but um, hanging double spaced whoops what just happened there paragraph hanging double okay all right there you go so, author, last name, first name, image title, date, um, source, uh, and then database that drew, that pulled it from its original source. Uh, it's a web image. This is the date I accessed it, and then I know it's a digital image. All right. So that's how to how to cite it, and then that we are fulfilling the terms of uh, some rights reserved. So anytime something's published um, in wiki on Wikipedia, um, it might have some rights reserved, but typically uh, it will tell you about its. Okay, so um, Wikipedia will give you a whole uh, list. This guy's public domain. All right, this media file is in the public domain in the United States. It applies to U.S. works where copyright has expired often because its first publication occurred prior to January 1st, 1925, and if not then, due to lack of notice or renewal. So when you cite if you chose this image, um, do your due diligence to cite um, as much information as you have, right? Okay, so the author is unavailable. So what does that mean? That means if the author is unavailable, you go ahead and start with what you do know, 
right? So you would start again in the absence of in the absence of the author, you would go ahead and just start with the the title of the image. So oh no, we do, sorry, original photo by oh, we do have this guy. But if we didn't know that John Trouse took this image, we would start with the title, um, which is sort of the Lucas Gusher at Sand Top Hill, South Beaumont, Texas. Um, and then we don't know where it was. We, uh, do we know where it was originally published? Uh, the site credits the American Petroleum Institute. Um, and then we know that it's, it would be Wiki Commons instead. And then um, it's web, date access, digital image, etc. Um, so as you proceed down this, um, excuse me, uh, database, you might run into, say, for example, an image that just doesn't have um, the same type of information. Um, available that like wiki or Flickr, etc do and so then again you just do your best to include what information um, is available um, okay so why are we doing this well some of um, so we've covered um, the, how Google Images Wikipedia and Flickr um, catalog and cite their or, um, and produce their sources for public consumption um, and that often those images in these databases and in some others um, are either some rights reserved or in the public domain. So what? Um, well, um, it's important to follow um, and not infringe on copyright um, or in other words, um, participate in fair use. So um, the fair use law provides for the principle, commonly called fair use, um, uh, that the reproduction of copyright works for certain limited educational purposes does not constitute copyright infringement. Because so what does that mean? And like this might be um, important for your uh, for, uh, for your posters. Okay, so when possible, use images that have a CC license. Um, or or are in the public domain, right? But what happens when um, you want to use an image or the only images that you can find, especially like for this project, because a lot of you guys are working on movies um, or TV shows, what happens when the images that you want are not covered uh, or are not available either in the public domain or under a Creative Commons license. Well, that means um, that you can go ahead and um, go ahead, you can use copywritten uh, images um, for the type of project that we're doing in class because it falls under a fair use exemption. And so to determine whether a proposed uh, use is fair, you consider the following four factors. Um, so the purpose, right, so we're using it for non- Profit educational purposes, um, and then uh, the amount of the work is a, a sub uh, and substantiality of the portion used in relation to the copyrighted work as a whole, right? So, um, if I use, for example, this image, and um, I don't know this image, uh, those two images in um, were like in relation to or in proportion to all of the millions of frames in the movie uh, is not substantial and would fall under uh, fair use, right? Um, and then the effect of the use uh, doesn't detract from the uh, market value of the, um, uh, of the movie itself. And then finally, we are not going to be selling our posters for profit. Um, so, uh, if you want to read more about fair use, you are welcome. Uh, and then finally, um, I've been using this link a lot. So here, let's do this one first. So if you click here, it's going to send you to Purdue Owl, which I would say um, is a one-stop shop for all your citation needs. So again, in addition to uh, articles from you know academic journals and academic books, etc. Um, this page will give you um, 
how to cite somewhat different. Okay, so here's how to set a photograph, um, song, album. Here's film or movies. So just scroll down to film or movies. Here's TV shows. Um, so here, for example, if you got something. Uh, generally, when citing a specific episode, follow the format below. So you get the title of the episode in quotations, because in MLA, any small title goes in quotations, um, and titles of long works um, go in, uh, excuse me, in italics, season, episode, uh, station it was aired on, date, um, and then the platform with a link to the platform. And then again, with MLA, you um, just leave blank uh, the information that you don't have. Entire series, TV show, podcasts, albums, digital files, etc. But you, if you notice, like a thing that's missing is citing images from Flickr, Wikipedia, etc. So that's why I have this link to this Colgate Visual Resource Library that helps you with images downloaded from uh, museum, from Flickr, etc. Okay, here's my final note. If you have, and you this uh, might be more pertinent um, in the final, excuse me, um, presentation, but if you have, say, 15, 20 images that you pulled from, say, Google Images, you can go ahead and just cite Google Images um, without having to cite the... Um, uh, like if you're citing, I don't know, clip art or um, just tiny little fragments that you find on the internet, cite the database um, in the absence of um, specific information like this, the, like this photograph. So, okay. Um, I guess final, final on this is uh, again, uh, do your best, right? Do your best to be a good di digital citizen to make sure that the information published on the internet. Uh, and the authors get credit for that information um, and that also to um, check in with fair use to make sure that the information that you're using when it's not covered by um, some rights reserved public or public domain um, is within the standards of the of fair use right okay that's everything thanks so much